The Jeep Grand Cherokee is pretty much tops among midsize SUVs when the road beneath isn't actually a road. That said, there's a difference between being capable of performing a task and being purpose-built to master it. And while every Wrangler is born to play in the dirt, none of the 10 yes, 10 different Grand Cherokee models offered for 2016 were configured specifically for the activity upon which Jeep built its brand. Such a model seems like a no-brainer, if for no other reason than to give Renegade Trailhawk and Cherokee Trailhawk drivers something to move up to. But more important, it would not to Jeep's avid off-road enthusiasts, some of whom may be aging, adding offspring, or for whatever reason might find the Wrangler Unlimited a bit too Spartan. Jeep certainly has had the know-how, and most of the existing parts, to build such a thing all along and it came to pass with the unveiling of the 2017 Grand Cherokee Trailhawk last spring. Now, we've tackled trails in one, drove it to our west coast base, and conducted our instrumented testing. This isn't the first time Jeep has offered the Grand Cherokee in Trailhawk form, such a version first appeared as a 2013 model, boasting the Grand Cherokee's most sophisticated off-road components a generous but not lavish level of creature comforts, and stylistic flourishes equivalent to jeans and a flannel shirt. At around $42,000, the 2013 price was reasonable enough that folks who spend their weekends in a tent by a campfire still might afford it. But the Trailhawk quietly disappeared when the facelift 2014 model arrived. 